Hello everyone, Tomo here and welcome back to a slightly new style of this Paris FC Road to Glory here on FIFA 21. Now, it's slightly different as I'm not going to be showing you every game I do from now on. I'm going to try and maybe limit it to 5 episodes a season from this point as it's going to get stale if we're not careful and same with me playing the games, it's going to get stale. But we're going to kick off today with a game against uh, St Etienne. And as you can see, our main striker, who is a, uh, I guess he's a bit popular in real life at the minute, uh, GT, puts us in front quite early on from a great ball from Hazard, turns to defender, Alenia does brilliant to get out of the way, and we get a 1 0 lead inside the first 15 minutes. Now, not long after, Rusnak loses the ball, Alenia pressures him, GT finds Patokio, who's making the start. A great ball through to the token Hazard, and it's 2 0, surely. Just. How? How did he miss that? It is beyond me. It's like he just kicked it into the ground. But unfortunately, St. Etienne now on the break. We managed to push him away slightly, but the ball finds Gagano. Or Ganago. Great defending there by Sorensen. And brilliant tracking back by Togan Hazard that wins the free kick. Just wanted to highlight some of the defending. Now Hanin, who is retiring of course, and it's going to be sad, we're going to have to find a replacement, I don't think Tariq Mitchell is the one, he's just very assessed defensively, but Lura finds Hazard with a brilliant run through the middle, just splitting the whole St Etienne team in half really, and he manages to do what he couldn't do 10 minutes before, and that's what I expected first time, but <laughs> well that just never happened did it? Uh, the 39th minute now, so we are closing in half time. Hongola, who's been a revelation at uh, DM, has to be said, finds Hanin, the left back, great ball in, good defender by the St. Etienne man, but we do win a corner from it. Are we going to see what happens from this resulting corner? A little short one into Hazard, crosses in, it gets cleared, and now they are going to break on us. We managed to push them back slightly, but they always have this man over board, they got a triangle uh, passing session. And Hanin, I don't know what I was doing with Hanin there. He's like kind of in and out. Strange, <laughs> strange defending, but it's great. Uh, recovery, he wins it. But they take a quick throw in. Buanga, who could be someone I look at maybe, uh, finds Sissoko. And he kind of just wastes time. Unfortunately, they still have the ball, but they aren't doing anything. It's like EA needs to fix the thing to be... 45th minute, 2 not down, actually try it, and then that's the result, it's a header from the edge of the box, like it's going to trouble Cardozo, it's just not going to. So we are now in the second half, Hazard again tracking back, managing to like just stop Sissoko, ball comes in, we do get it away, straight to Hongla, he finds Patokio, who every time plays is just fantastic, and Pukac is uh, now away, we know of his uh, capabilities going forward. Obviously, he's got footed, so he can do both sides. Hazard, a little bit of skill. Ah, he's just dispossessed at the last second. That was unlucky. Nice build-up play, though. But Shagley finds Hongler. Kajelo, who's come on. And we find Narsing, and an accidental pass, which he wouldn't unlock off. And what a ball that is. And Carl Zalenia. What a goal. What a finish. What a ball by Narsing. What a mistake that led to the goal from us. The fact that the game wouldn't lock on to... Uh, oh god, Pukac, I think it was. And Narsing takes the ball. Defender for some reason stops. Gives him space. Perfectly weighted pass. Straight to Elenia. What a finish. What a run by the centre midfielder. He's our best player in the team in rating wise. I mean, I think he's on the most money. He's a Barcelona La Masia graduate. And I think he might be a fantastic sign in. In the next few seasons. And he'll come good. Hopefully win us a league title on 3-4 to four years. That is the aim. I don't want to be doing this series all the time. But there will be a series coming. I believe I might be doing a Ajax free season to glory in the Champions League. And a Werder Bremen career mode in the style of this. Which is going to be 4 to 5 episodes a season. But as you can see, we'll get to that another point. As you can see, we won that game 3-0. Quite comfortable again. We seem to just have St Etienne's number. But you would have seen in the title... We are going to sign Edison Cavani's regen. 
And I am so excited. Obviously, United fan Cavani. Why can't we have signed him four years ago when he was younger? But, do you know what? It is what it is. Mesquida, Sidio Mesquida. I just accidentally found him fucking through free agents. Actually, I think my scouts brought him up. And I thought, we only have three strikers, and I should count Narsing, which is four, but Narsing's 33, he's not going to be there for much longer. So I thought, we'll bring in... I forgot the guy's name already, God. But we'll bring him in, and he'll make a huge impact in the years to come. But we're going to jump into the game against Olympic Lyonnais, and obviously, last time he ever played them was in the Cup, and we beat them on penalties. So we knew it wasn't going to be an easy task to beat them today. I don't think they have Memphis or Dembele or any of the guys they used to, but nice bit of a sure goalkeeper there from Cardozo. Off is going quick, gets the ball. Just want to highlight that our, our goalkeeper is actually brilliant. What a free signing he was. Already gone up seven ratings, I believe, from when we signed him. And you see that the press from the energetic midfield in Hungary is ridiculous. Nearly caught out there, but Bashagli done just enough to put him off. Don't even know who that was that was shooting. But Hanin now with a great ball in, Laura. Oh, just, I, I just don't know what that header was, it's awful. Pukats now, great ball in, Hazard. What is that header? As you can see, the wing-backs had so much space in this game that at some point I believed that we were going to get a chance. Or even they getting through on goal. But go watch Toko Akambi, of course. Brilliant player in real life. Great strike. Good positioning from Cardoza there. Maybe he should have palmed it to a better area or caught it. But we'll let him off there because he's been fantastic most of the season. And most ever since we signed him, he's been fantastic. Lucas Paqueta, obviously, I do know him. <sighs> Oof, that was a great shot from the computer there. He was unlucky. Thank God that Cardozo watched it all the way. But again, so how much space our fullbacks have. Hanin, I don't know why GTA's gone to volley that. He maybe should have took it down or headed it, but hopefully he learns from it. Laura Futa Hazard, just into the second half. Carl Zalenia now on the ball. He's kind of worked himself into the trouble. Managed to keep the ball, though. And, oh God, it's the, it's the, well, it's the last remaining Paris FC player in the great starting eleven. Gaetan Lura, just on a new contract as well, for me. He's on 18 grand a week, I believe now. Nice little wage increase for him. But, he's there, he's doing what he's meant to be doing. He stepped up slightly to the league. Obviously, he's been known for scoring the breakaway goals this season, but for whatever happened in this recording session, I was just clicking with the players, maybe it's sharpness, maybe it's morale, but for some reason the formation just seemed to work brilliantly, maybe it's an update, a micro update, or it's a new update, I'm not sure if I've actually played since the new update to be honest, but after that lead we knew it was going to be hard to defend, and Sander Berger now through to Paqueta, he sees Berger and Cardoso coming at clutch once again, and now, well, I don't know where our defence has gone, but Ito, who they've also signed, the Japanese international, crosses the ball in. More assured goalkeeping there from Cardozo. And it was just showing that we are limiting them to pretty much speculative efforts in some way. But Cogella now on another surge and run. He's unlucky there. Could have been a risky one there for Lopez if he headed that harder. But he's a good goalkeeper, you wouldn't expect him to be beat. Uh, Cousin on the end of the game, it's a great ball, and if Ito had anticipated that ball he'd have been on the end of that of a header so we have to be thankful that well he's not the highest rated so I guess that's what we got to be thankful for but this is a very change of Leon squad from the one we all know Thiago Mendes is still there Paqueta and Lopez that's all I can really notice that are the same people uh, now Gite one of his powerful breaks finds Patel who's just come on Cajela now a lot of space Pukat What's he going to do is a great touch out. It's a good ball in. Oh, Narsing absolutely flops to your chance. And <laughs> terrible. It has to be said. Terrible. And now we got to watch the counter attack by Hanin. It's a shame he's retiring, to be honest. I think he's only 32. He's been solid. He's such better than uh, Tariq Mitchell in terms of defensive stats. And I guess that is the most important thing. Maybe I can start giving Mitchell more games as the like, season goes on to like, ease out Hanin. But for now, I'm very impressed. I have got my eye on a few left backs, which I'll cover in tomorrow's episode. 
So be sure to stay tuned for that. Also, like and subscribe if you're new. Much appreciated. There'll be a lot more content coming soon, especially when we're allowed back into football stadiums. But, as you can see, two minutes out of the overtime, the referee blows the whistle, and we beat Leon 1-0. And we were just giant killing. Now, didn't notice that Patrick Bamford, it has to be said for real. But between these games, we beat Monaco 3-2. GT scored a hat-trick. And it's Gura does a great save out of Minor. Very early on, just three minutes into the game. Just look at that gap between the right back and the centre back. I just felt like we could exploit that most of the game. But Patrick Bamford now. Matt tries to turn Sirens, but Sirenson's too strong. He's really stepped up in recent games. Ever since the football replacing him. Elenia now got the ball. He sees GT. Now can GT drive past the Botman here? Who's a good centre uh, centre back? And uh, it's one of the weirdest goals I've scored. Fake shot, cut back, finesse, toe poke thing. But I don't think GT cares. GT has managed to score again. The guy is on fire. And I'm so happy that I signed him for, what was it, £3 million two seasons ago? I do think we're going to struggle to uh, keep him. And to keep it realistic, we're probably going to have to sell him. Or one of our star players. But... I say realistic, but then Adam Armstrong and Patrick Bamford are up front for real. So, I don't know. Maybe I don't. But now, Laura finds GT. It's a great ball through to Laura. And is he going to score? We know he misses some of these. A great finish. Powerful surge and run there. And Minden has no chance whatsoever. You can see what it means to the boys. Everyone's racing over. Because... If we're beating these top dogs and we managed to pick up a few points against our rivals in, well, where I'm meant to be finishing, like, in the bottom half, then we're safe. Now, the board only want a mid-table finish, but the way we're playing, I'm going to aim for Europa League, I think, or at least top eight. Top eight is my goal. Europa League is the one I'm I'm searching for, let's say. But that was Lura's fourth goal of the season now, and considering he's the second striker, to GT, obviously he's the man that tries to play GT in a bit more. He's doing well for himself. Alenia now some great uh, tackles, and we managed to break again. Gura now see he's driving. He's got hat up. Pukat's even. Pukat's driving through. Oh, he probably should have crossed first time, and that is a woeful shot. Even though he can play right mid, he really can't shoot like one. Now Hanin wins the ball. Hazard. Men oh, there we go. Here's Cavani's regen. Mesquida. And he's driving at the fence here. Left footed he is. He's very fast and he's six foot one. He finds Hazard. Hazard comes back to Hongola. Hongola waits, he's patient. He finds Alenia. Alenia goes back to Hongola. Trying to keep the ball here. GT drops in. Hazard now. Got Alenia. Alenia's been forced slightly wide. He's going to come back to Hanin, who's waiting in space on the edge of the box. Hongola. Hazard. Oh, GT was actually on there. But Batokio on the ball. Good ball. Oh, it was great build-up play. And we got a chance out of it. Maybe if it's a harder cross, someone gets on the end of that. But I'm not that worried as we are 2-0 up again to real. And they've just brought on Weyer. Uh, the header was a decent opportunity. It just gets beaten to it. But Alenia now, who's controlling the game really. It's a great back heel to Mesquita from GT. And Mesquita scores on his debut. The Edison Cavani regen, absolutely tearing it up. Number 20, it kind of suits him. And it was great ball by GT. Like a little back heel around the, well, around the defender, as you can see. Bang. He carries on his run. GT kind of drags the defender. If the keeper saves, it probably falls to GT. So, brilliant. Uh, it was a brilliant result. We won 3-0. And that's all you can ask for. Now... I am going to be calling up some more regens to the first team, and they'll be going out on loan opportunities. As you can see, we got some a, a brilliant uh, new uh, regen called Elliot Lecomte, who's in our latest uh, batch of prospects to come through to the club. So he's staying on the youth team for now. Obviously, it's a bit uh, frustrating that we don't play wingers anymore, but he has good shooting, good pace. So I might convert him to a striker at some point. But I think he needs some time to develop in the reserves and then go out on loan. Uh, but as you can see, you'll see the players that are being called up. You'll hopefully see him over time. 
If anything happens with them, of course, I'll let you all know. But we got quite a lot of cams and right mids, which is, isn't brilliant. And I don't know why that even is, because I haven't had really any specific instructions apart from in France and the African countries, but most of them have been called up or sold. But the Polish ones are going to be called up, and we'll hope that they uh, can become the next Lewandowski, I guess. Now, we're playing a game against Montpellier, always a team I've liked, a lovely kit. And we start off 10 minutes in with a speculative shot from Hanin, which I think was more of a tackle. But it goes over the bar. Now, Laura's driving through here. We ha what happened last game? Not the same result, though. As uh, I don't know who that goalkeeper is. I think I've seen him come on against PSG the other night. But don't quote me on that. But it's a great save, I guess. Good boy, good shot. But Gite, what a corner from Cosiello. Perfect. On the money. Hits Gite in the forehead. And the ball... Fires past that goalkeeper before he had even a chance to react to it. As you can see, Hongler's there, everyone's celebrating. We all know how much this means to us. Obviously, the more wins we get early on, maybe we can start integrating some more youth players and getting their rating up. i got to make sure I recall them all before the end of the season with their stupid buy release clauses because the game doesn't just do normal loans anymore. But, brilliant head of that. And... Apparently I'm well gassed, even though he looks nothing like me, but it is what it is. Jute, that's his 11th goal in the league already, and we're not even at January. We'll be lucky if someone like PSG doesn't come in for him, or maybe Leon. He's more of a Leon signing to me. But again, forces the keeper to make an odd save, it has to be said. He kind of pushed it the opposite way, but I guess you keep it out, that's all that matters. Now Lura has Cosiello, he finds him. Draws a good save out of the keeper at his near post and the ball gets cleared. Now Montpellier, just before half time, have a chance. There's a great ball through the Suquet. Again, Cardozo, what a save from the man. He's a goat. He's amazing. I don't even know if I would ever want to replace him. I want to see how high I can get him. But now Hazard, we're breaking through. What's Killian going to do? He's got the shot opportunity. Fadiga, who's also starting. A rare start, I guess. Gets absolutely clattered in the box, even though we're two minutes over the added time. And I was like, there we go, 2-0. This will be 2-0 if I score. And it's the most important thing. However, I am dreadful at penalties, it must be said. If you watch me on our team on Weekend League, ugh, the amount I miss, but I save a lot. So, it's a bit like me in real life, sums me up. But Jute obviously is going to step up for us. He is the main man. Oh, he got 32 penalties though. Which is a bit of a shock for me. But I'm going to try and put a bottom corner. Keeper goes the wrong way. And we take a 2-0 lead into half time. Brilliant. And I, I, I'm very happy. I think we are playing fantastic football. This is 12th goal of the season. And I don't know. Whatever happens is finally clicked. Maybe we've gelled as a team. But now look at this for a run from Cosiello. I'd say 70 yards. He threw on goal. Is he going to bury it? <laughs> he absolutely scuffs the shot. Oh, what a goal. That was. That would have been a world-class goal, it has to be said. Now, Bashagli messes up here. But Cardozo again pulls us out of the bag. And, unfortunately, Montpellier did get a free kick. And they cross it in. But, again, we managed to keep him out. It was all looking swell and dandy. 2-0 lead. We've just beaten some top teams. Montpellier, with respect, are like a mid-table team. I was pretty comfortable. Guano was... Oh, I think he's done at the club, to be honest, Guano. I gave him a start. And he allows the guy to score. Oh, Diego Souza, ex-Benfica man, to score an absolute rocket. Well, Cardozo has no chance. Look at the swerve on that. Ridiculous technique, that. Maybe we have to look at him. Uh, and then a corner, so we were under the we were under pressure a lot here. The corner comes in, and no one Hunger has lost his man. The man I've been praising loses his man, and the guy who scores a bullet header. Cardozo no chance. It's literally over him in a flash, and it's poor defending. And that is pretty much a frustrating one, and we have to be careful that. We didn't concede again. Great save again from Cardozo. 
Really kept us in it. But we had one final chance in the 90th minute. Pukats. Oh, man. Unlucky. But that was how it finished 2 2. And as you can see, we are second in the table. Now, granted, we're miles off first in PSG. But I think it's brilliant for our first season in League N. And I've also got some transfers to look at. I've got players to move on. There's a lot to do with this team. We got one of the, we got we have got the top scorer in the league pretty much. We got one of the top assisters in the league. So it's all going well. But I'm gonna leave you with look at the player stats. Uh, please join us soon for next episode. I've been Tomo, thank you for watching. Peace.